Greetings. My name is Conrad Leonard from Educational Missions. Today I want to show you how to access our website using Google Chrome. You will start by clicking on your browser, which is Chrome. Type in Educational Missions. dot org you will be directed to our website which is educational missions dot org uh, you can scroll and read through our website you see what we do uh, you can watch a few videos you can contact us you can type in your name your email phone number subject and email we'll be so happy to contact you back uh, you can also use our phone numbers you contact us uh, you can contact this number this number or using the email then when you go to our top menu we have about us when you click on about us you'll also get to know what we do you'll get to see our team from there you can go to contact you can contact us then you can also click on stan reynolds uh, from stan reynolds you'll be opened up in another new tab why you can access Stanley's website and you can also look through it also has its own menus you can check uh, when we go back to our website you can also see Angela's website which is Angela Audrey from Angela's website you can also look through and read through uh, you can also check through the menus that we have uh, when we go back to the main website again you can also check through Conrad Leonard Digital Solutions website you can scroll and look through it also has its own menus and contacts from there we go to you innovate club under you innovate club we have the clubs and these are some of the clubs that we're working with uh, you can also check through why the clubs you read through then you can also check through club activities from here you can scroll and look through then from there you can go to campus through the lens here you'll find our episode 1 video you can watch the video on YouTube please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a like or a comment uh, from there you can go to resources and under our resources we have Think to Prosper this is a free ebook when you click on it you open uh, up in a new tab and in that new tab uh, you can get our educational library and you can also get to the free ebook the free ebook is just right here and here you can click on download the ebook you enter your first name last name location phone number and email uh, then you submit after submitting it you will easily download a soft copy of our think to prosper book when you go back to our resources and you click on free educational library under the free educational library you will find uh, several courses that you can take on so uh, this is all from Khan Academy uh, when you try to scroll down Crafty counting uh, in mathematics, so it is excelled in mathematics and science. How to make a logic die, 
beginning graphic design fundamentals it has 25 videos so you can try to look through all those videos beginners web design tutorial it also has 25 videos you can take them on uh, creativity uh, how some life hackers and creativity I and creative ideas free online web and graphics design and training programming for beginners how to start coding 35 creative ideas w3 schools htm video tutorial introduction 25 learning items featured learning plans and so on we are planning on adding several courses on this platform as educational missions we already give a monthly subscription to Kani academy and when you click on this button uh, it will give you a pop-up you may need to exit out of the donate page after opening up Khan academy educational missions is already committed to paying a monthly donation towards the cause thank you and we wish you all the best in your studies click on any of the images below to register for a free course so you can exit out of this and then you click on any of the images here so when you click on any of the images you will be redirected to our einsteinthinkers.org website and from this this is where you can find our free educational library course so you can easily access Khan academy from here if you click on this uh, you just need to register let's say i register myself after entering my name country and email then i submit to join the class and it says submitted so after submitting in uh, you'll be brought to this page from Khan academy for you to log in you need to have an account with Khan academy you will need to log in or sign up but in our case we will need to sign up uh, you will either sign up as a learner a teacher or a parent but in this case i'm a learner so i'll click on learners and then enter the date of birth and then here i can decide to continue with google google will automatically pick my email and then i can decide to use this email account so i'll be asked what grade are you in we will gather the right lessons for you so you need to personalize your Khan academy so i can say maybe a graduate student and say continue and then what do you want to study mathematics uh, so on and so on so uh, my focus will be on computer programming and this is where i come though you have very many uh things to go through and learn but my focus is on computer programming so i click on next and save so my account will be created uh, and then if i need to access the courses again i can come here uh, on courses and I'll be able to see through all these courses. I can even take up these other courses uh, and I leave computer programming. So let's, so let's go back to computer programming. Under computer programming, you have several things. You can learn JavaScript, you can learn HTML and CSS. Uh, you can learn SQL, you can learn JS, which is JavaScript, 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 HTML, and so on. So and uh, when you see a page like this when you're logging in for the first time uh, a certain page may pop up like this this is the page that we meant in case it comes up you will need to exit the page it always has a, a close button somewhere here and you may need to 
uh, close up the page so that it doesn't disrupt you when you're taking up your courses because educational missions is already giving up uh, a monthly subscription to this course so uh, all our students here may not need to give in any other donations uh, so you can come back to your courses and yeah you go back to your course and take up the course so that is what we have from Khan academy when you're done with this course we will need to at least get feedback from you and we'll need to know whether we are trying to help you out so uh we'll really need to get feedback from you and for you to send in your feedback you'll need to come back to our page uh, when you scroll down we have our numbers here we have our email you can easily contact us from our website or even if you go to our social media accounts facebook twitter youtube linkedin and instagram you can easily contact us whatever way will be easy for you we'll really get back to you and still you can also contact us through our live chat button if you click here you will be able to contact us you can send us a message and we'll be able to reply back to you instantly and then when we continue and we go to our online shopping we have an online shop so this is einsteinthinkers.com so einsteinthinkers.com has our online shop you can easily download a book you can easily pay for our book so that is our online shop uh, when we go back to news we have our news and we have inspirations so under our news we have news several news that have been happening all around so you can also go to inspirations under inspirations we have uh this only those that don't give up become winners uh we also have fundraising here so this has been our fundraising page uh, you can donate to us anything you can watch all these videos and listen to some of the testimonies how to donate to educational missions you'll go to your browser and in this case i'm using chrome search for educational missions.org hover over fundraising you'll see a donate button uh, though we also have other donate buttons if you click on any of these donate buttons let's say this one you will be taken to our fundraising page and this is paypal so you can decide on uh, giving us we have our logo here you can decide on giving uh, whatever amount you can or if you want to give more than what we have specified here or even less than what we have specified here you just click on others and then you'll be able to enter in the whatever amount you need to donate to us let's say 600 uh, and then you say i would like to add this my donation to help offer the cost of processing fees so you can add this for us if you feel like you need to or you can even leave it out if you don't feel like it is still okay and you can also decide to make this a monthly subscription or you can decide not to give it as a monthly subscription so after that you can then donate with paypal or donate with debit card or credit card let's say you want to donate with uh paypal when you click on paypal you'll be asked for your account and so on so you continue with the process until uh you donate this money and still if you want to use your credit card uh, let's say you don't want to use paypal you go to your credit card or oh, i need to add the money again uh, let's say 600 so you go to your credit card and you will have other options you can fill in all these details and after filling in you have to agree here and then you agree and continue so that is how you can donate to educational missions i uh, will be so happy to get your donation at any time if you like uh, because these donations help us to 
push our work, print more books, uh, visit more schools in transport costs, and so on. So we'll be so happy to get your donation. Uh, thank you so very much and hope to see your donations soon.